And a positive is a noun or pronoun that typically follows another noun or pronoun in order to identify it further or to explain it. And a positive phrase is composed of the appositive and its modifiers. Let's first take a look at the word itself. A positive comes from a Latin word, aponere, which means set near, designate, in addition to. You can tell by the word parts as well. AP means to or at, and posit, like position, means place. Try to identify the appositive in each of the following sentences. My brother Philip recently opened a restaurant near the bridge. Olivia photographed a large bird, a hawk, in her backyard. Would you like some dessert, cherry pie? A positives can be essential or non-essential. The punctuation is important. The idea of essential and non-essential elements is explained in much greater detail in another video in the Papa Nuge on Grammar series. When an appositive is essential to a sentence, it is necessary for meaning. If it is non-essential, the appositive only adds some detail. Look at the following sentences. My rabbit shadow was chosen as grand champion at the fair. My rabbit shadow was chosen as grand champion at the fair. Shadow is the appositive in both sentences. The punctuation is the only difference between them. In the first sentence, shadow is essential. In the second sentence, shadow is non-essential. I can tell that from the punctuation. But what does that mean? The appositive in the second sentence is surrounded by commas. You can imagine that the commas are like handles with which you can pull the non-essential element from the sentence without losing meaning. In the first sentence, I can assume that the writer has more than one rabbit, so the appositive is essential in distinguishing shadow from other rabbits. My rabbit shadow was chosen as grand champion at the fair. In the second sentence, I can assume that the writer has only one rabbit and its name is shadow. My rabbit shadow was chosen as grand champion at the fair. By recognizing a positives as essential or non-essential, you can let your use of the commas add greater depth of meaning to your writing. If you read the sentences aloud, you can hear how your voice will respond to the punctuation. And a positive typically follows the noun or pronoun it restates. However, you may encounter a positives that begin sentences. We call these transposed appositives. The following sentence shows an appositive in its typical position. Your hand, a complex structure, contains 27 different bones. Now look at the same information with a transposed appositive. A complex structure, your hand contains 27 different bones. There is no hard and fast rule about transposed appositives. However, as a writer, you decide which idea functions better by itself in the sentence. In the second sentence, your hand would not be considered the appositive because by removing it, the meaning of the sentence would not be clear. Appositives are very useful in streamlining your writing. You can often combine related sentences with appositives tightening and sophisticating your prose. Look at the following two sentences and consider how you can combine them into one sentence using an appositive. Reese bought a new truck. The truck is a Ford F-150. You would probably combine them in a way similar to this. Reese bought a new truck, a Ford F-150. You were able to eliminate extraneous words and tighten your writing. Try to combine another pair of sentences. 
The monarch is a milkweed butterfly. The monarch helps the environment by pollinating flowers. You probably came up with something like this. The monarch, a milkweed butterfly, helps the environment by pollinating flowers. Now, you can transpose the appositive into another sentence as seen in the following. A milkweed butterfly, the monarch helps the environment by pollinating flowers. Either way is an acceptable way of streamlining your writing. The two approaches help you add variety to your sentence structure. Try to identify any appositives in the following sentences. I submitted the group's final request to Mrs. Worthington, my supervisor. Sybil's latest acquisition, an antique pocket watch, will dramatically increase the value of her timepiece collection. She met Louise the letter carrier, not Louise the UPS driver. A spoiled brat, Marcus caused Edna, the babysitter, much grief last night. Will you ask my cousin Raymond to order the pizza before he leaves work? The Hudson River, a border between New York and New Jersey, is actually an estuary. A huge island nation off the southeast coast of Africa, Madagascar and some tiny neighboring islands are the only places where lemurs, primates that evolved in isolation, can be found. Our writing rubric, a lengthy checklist, uses the six plus one writing traits. All students enjoy the Reading Without Walls Challenge, our independent reading program. If you are unsure of the assignment, check the Moodle, the source for all project documents. In each of the following sentences, the appositive or appositive phrase is underlined. Pay attention to the intended meaning and insert any necessary commas. Alliteration, the repetition of initial consonant sounds, is used to create tongue twisters. In 1939, John Steinbeck published The Grapes of Wrath, his story of the Jode family. Sydney's cousin, Robert, lives in Concord, Massachusetts. My kitten, Rory, has calico markings. Our fantastic English teacher, Mrs. Cake, will assign To Kill a Mockingbird, a novel by Harper Lee. After I finish Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, I plan to read Hudson Valley Zombie Apocalypse by Linda Zimmerman, a ghost investigator. Genocide, the deliberate killing of a large group of people, is the focus of Lorraine's research project. Born in Columbia County, New York, Martin Van Buren, the eighth president of the United States, spoke Dutch before he learned English. Throwing shade, publicly disrespecting or denouncing someone, is a popular colloquial expression. Mr. Wilson, I would like you to meet my biological father, Joseph Hertigan. Read the following pairs or groups of sentences. Combine them using a positives and a positive phrases. Look for different ways to structure your final sentence without changing meaning. 
your answers may vary. June is my best friend. June will accompany me to the job interview this afternoon. You may leave the notebook in his locker. His locker is the one with New York Rangers stickers on the outside. He flew his drone too close to the county airport. His drone is a DJI Phantom 4 Pro. The bridge that connects Ulster County to Poughkeepsie opened August 25th, 1930. The Franklin Delano Roosevelt Bridge connects Ulster County to Poughkeepsie. Altamont Pass is an area of grassy hills. Altamont Pass surrounds San Francisco. The Chevrolet Bolt EV is an all-electric car. Chevrolet claims the Bolt EV has a range of 238 miles per charge. Hurricane Maria caused the humanitarian crisis in Puerto Rico. Hurricane Maria is the 10th most intense Atlantic hurricane on record. Trusty needed to be treated for equine ringworm. Trusty is the oldest of our three horses. Equine ringworm is a contagious fungal infection of the skin. Divergent is the debut novel of Veronica Roth. Divergent is set in a post-apocalyptic version of Chicago. When it comes to sound quality, many audiophiles say nothing beats vinyl. Vinyl is a technology that hasn't changed much in 60 years.